So we'll go ahead and get started. So let's just go ahead and just settle into the mat so we can just kind of spread those toes wide, just kind of ground down, roll the shoulders back and down. Take a deep inhale and an exhale. Let's inhale the arms up. And exhale them down. Bring the hands to heart center. Take a deep inhale in. And exhale. Inhale the arms up, spread the fingers wide. Let's come up onto the tippy toes and just stretch, stretch, stretch. And release the heels down. Let's go ahead and bend the right arm, bring the left arm over, just be careful of that elbow joint and just give it a little stretch. Yep, so it doesn't matter which arm. I do it, I bent my right with the left arm coming over. And let's go ahead and release. Inhale those arms back up and let's switch. Left arm or whichever the opposite arm was um, and the right arm comes across. Just be careful of the elbow joint. And release that down. Let's go ahead and interlace the fingers behind our back, roll the shoulders back, stretch the arms out. Just give the shoulders a little stretch here. And release, give it a little shake. Now we're gonna inhale those arms up. Exhale, swan dive forward, come to forward fold. Just grab the elbows and we'll do a little rag doll here. Hi, Michael. Oh, you're a little stuck. Oh, I see what you're doing now. Bring the hands to the shins, inhale to a flat back, exhale, fold. Let's have a bend in the knees, the arms are hanging heavy like we're holding on to a big Pilates ball and we're just going to roll it up one vertebra at a time and then roll the shoulders back and down and let's go ahead and roll the shoulders up and forward and hold inhale exhale chin to chest inhale center exhale chin to sky only go as far as works for you and your neck inhale center exhale chin to chest inhale center exhale chin to sky Inhale, center, exhale, chin to chest. Inhale, center. So now we're just gonna drop the right ear toward the right shoulder. Breathe. Inhale, center. And now left ear, left shoulder. Inhale, center. Now we're going to exhale, drop chin to chest, and we'll move into head or neck roll. So you get to choose how big or how small, how fast, how slow. Just inhale on the way up, exhale on the way down. And once chin gets to the chest, in reverse direction, inhale on the way up. Exhale, on the way down. And we'll meet back in center. So now we're going to turn sideways on the mat. And I'll start with the left foot. So our feet are together. We're towards the right edge of our mat. 
and we're gonna step the left leg out. We're coming into a lateral lunge, right? So for me, I step my foot just a smidge forward and I'm really thinking about getting the weight into this left glute and the left heel. And then we step back to the right and then step it out, lateral lunge, and step it back together. Step it out into that lateral lunge, really working on this left glute, weight in that heel. Step it back. That's three. This will be four. Step it back. Five. Step it back. Six. Step it back. Seven. Step it back. And one more. Eight. Step it back together. So now I'm just going to slide down to the other edge of the mat. So we're going to step out this time with the right leg, really getting into that right glute and the right heel. So we step the right leg out, really put the weight into that heel, working this glute. Step it back together. Exhale, step it out. Step it together. Step it out. And back together. Four. Together. Five. Together. Six. Together. Seven. Together, one more, eight. And bring it together. Go ahead and give the legs a little shake. And we'll go ahead and we'll come to the bar. So let's start facing the bar. We'll have our feet together, our to heels together, toes apart. And you can keep your heels flat or we can come up a little bit um, onto the heels. So like two inches as opposed to like a high stiletto. And we're gonna bend the knees. So heels are together, toes are apart. Knees are open. We have a nice little pelvic tilt here. So we're protecting the low back. So just like in Pilates, if you're on the reformer, um, if we were, we're in first position, right? So it's exactly what it is. With the heels together and the toes apart. And so we're just going to come down an inch, up an inch, down, up, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now we're going to go down an inch, hold, come up an inch, down an inch, hold, come up an inch, down an inch, hold, up an inch, down an inch, hold, up an inch, down an inch, hold, up an inch, down an inch, hold. My heels be on the floor? It's up to you, heels down or they can be up, whatever works for you. I can't oh. actually keep my heels down, they don't naturally, I have a scar, so it doesn't stay down. So mine are always gonna be up, but yours can be down. And six. Seven, down an inch, hold. Come on up. And last one, down an inch, hold. And come on up. Let's go ahead and stretch all the way up. So stretch up on those tippy toes, extend up, and come down. So we're back in that first position. Let's just keep extending. The, so let's do that again. Let's extend up onto the tippy toes and bring the heels down. Extend up, bring them down, four, Five, six, squeeze those glutes, seven, and eight. So now, let's just reset. 
So our heels together, our toes are apart. We have a slight bend in those knees. Again, the heels can stay down or they can come up a little bit. Depends on your, per your body and your personal preference. So this time, we're gonna come down a couple of inches and then we're gonna come all the way up like we were just doing up on the tippy toes, squeezing those glutes at the top. Now we come down and up, squeezing those glutes. So if you use a reformer for Pilates, it's like we're coming in and then we're pushing out, squeezing up at the top. And three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and 10. And let's go ahead and shake that out. So let's go ahead and we'll turn around so the bar is behind us, like about a fist distance. So we wanna have our hands on the chair. Palms, the fingers can be facing toward the body. Let's come back to that first position. So heels are together, toes are apart. And this time, the heel can stay down. Um, if you prefer to come up onto the tippy toes, you can. I'm gonna keep my heels down. We're gonna start with the left leg. We're just gonna extend that left leg out straight. So the leg is point, the toes pointed and the thigh we're rotating it toward the ceiling. So we want to start working the inner thigh. So instead of the leg being straight forward, we're just rotating it so that inner thigh is reaching toward the ceiling. And we're just going to lift and lower. Lift, small lifts. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, hold. Now just bend the knee and then extend that leg straight. Bend, straighten, bend, straighten. Four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and 10. Now just hold that leg out there, an isometric hold. Hold, breathe. Keep breathing. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And release. Give it a shake. Woo, that's nice on that, that inner thigh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. So now we get to do that on the other leg. So Heels together, toes apart. We're gonna take the right leg out, so the toe is pointed, and instead of that knee being facing the ceiling, we wanna rotate the leg so the inner thigh is facing the ceiling. That heel can, the left heel can stay down or you can be up on your toes, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna keep mine down. And so we're just gonna do little lifts. One, two, breathe, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold. Now we're going to bend the knee, straighten the leg, check that rotation, bend, straighten, bend, straighten, bend, straighten, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and 10. Now hold that out. Make sure that thigh is rotating toward that ceiling. Hold. Keep holding. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10. And release. Give that a nice shake. Woo! If you need to grab a sip of water, go ahead. All right, so let's face the, the chair again. 
This time we're going to step our feet out wide. So toes are pointing kind of towards the outer edges. So we're going to come into second position. So we bend our knees. Knees are tracking in line with the ankles. It depends on you and your body. So again, we have a little bit of a pelvic tilt here. So we're protecting the low back. And the knees are bent. And we're going to come down an inch, up an inch, down, up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this time, um, we're going to do what we did before. We're going to come down an inch hold, and then we'll come up down an inch hold. So inhale, come down an inch, hold, come up an inch. Down an inch hold, 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 up an inch. Down an inch, hold, up an inch, down an inch, hold, up an inch, and lat. Oh no, we still have a couple more. I almost gave you a fruit feeties. Down, hold, and up, down, hold, up an inch, down, hold, up an inch. Now, last one. Down, hold, up an inch. And you can give it a little shake side to side. And we can't forget that last isometric hold. So we're going to come back into that first position. Come on down, sink it down into your working position, and we're going to hold. Breathe. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten. Come on up. Give it a little shake. And let's come back to that second position wide. Come back into the working position. So just like where we were before. And this time we're just gonna we're gonna lift the right heel and then we're gonna switch and lift the left heel. So we're gonna go right, left, right left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Now bring both heels down. Now we're going to lift both heels up at the same time. Bring both down. Two, three, breathe. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And go ahead, release. Give it a nice shake. And let's go ahead and stretch this quad out. So we'll take the right leg behind. Just give it a nice stretch. release and let's stretch the other side so left leg comes behind and stretch and release now if you think your chair is stable enough that you're not going to put too much pressure on it um, we can cross the right leg over the left and sit it down into figure four. If that doesn't feel safe, then we'll just come down onto the mat, extend the right leg, cross it over the left, and bring that right, left leg into the chest. So it, whichever one feels more stable for you, given the equipment that we have. Oh. <laughs> we're managing. We are managing. That's for sure. And let's go ahead. 
ahead and release and we'll switch so left leg crosses over right if you're if we're on our backs so we can switch that and breathe and come on up give it a nice shake so we'll come on down to the mat this time and let's start with some planks so let's come on down so forearms are out let's ex so if your plank is with your knees make sure that your knees are up towards your bottom if not if you can come full expression then we're on our forearms slight bend in those knees heels are reaching toward the back wall we're not curving up too high we're not dipping down too low the two planks this week janine <laughs> all right i'll be mindful breathe you've got it two more breaths and release so you can sit it back into shell or child so those big toes come together and either extend the body forward or curve the upper body back take a few breaths here so now let's come to side plank let's do some side sits so our knees are going to be out. Maybe I'll turn this way. Uh, let's start with the right knees are bent and out a little bit on an angle. We're going to be on the right forearm. We want it right underneath the shoulder. We always kind of have to readjust. And now we're going to lift up so we can stay with the knees down. We're lifting up from this right oblique. And then we just want to sit the hips back and then lift them up and forward. Sit it back, lift it up. Really getting into this oblique here. Breathe. Four. Five. Six. Seven. So before we switch to the other side, we're actually going to lay it down. So we're going to use the right arm as a pillow. We're going to make sure we have a nice little mousy house here so I can fit my arm underneath on my side. And we're going to bring the right legs out probably a little bit more to 90 degrees. You need to find the right place for you. Your feet are going to be glued together and we're going to do some clams. So we're going to open the top leg and close it. So really think about getting right in this top area of the glute, hip area, three. If you're not feeling it up in this area, then you need to move your legs either back or up further for each Which person. Right up in here. The glute, the left glute? Yeah, right in the top area. So I'll pretend this is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, now we'll switch to that other side. So we'll come to our left side. So we're going to be on the left forearm. Again, that shoulder's coming right down. We're right in line. Our left knees are slightly in front of us. And we're going to lift those hips up. And then sit it back. Two. Really engaging this left oblique. 
three, four, five, six, seven, right here. We're going to come down, use that left arm as a pillow. You've got to move your legs to the place that will work for you. So for some people, the legs are out about 90 degrees. Some it's more into the chest. Some need the feet to be further away or the knees to be further away. Those feet are going to be glued together. We've got that nice little mousy house and we're feeling it right up in here. And here we go. Open and close. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So we'll go ahead and we'll roll it forward. Since we're still down here, let's go ahead. We'll come on to the knees and we'll do some push-ups. Um, so, and then I'll turn to the sideways here. If you can do push-ups with legs extended, awesome. I can't. So, my feet are gonna be up. Here. My arms are out, uh, about shoulder width apart. Looking straight forward and we're engaging the core. So here we go. Inhale, come on down. Exhale, push it up. Two. Use that core to extend up. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and one more, ten. Go ahead and sit it back into child or shell. Just take a few breaths here. All right. So, Let's grab those cans or weights, whatever you might have, so we can do a little arm work. Um, let's go ahead and start, since we're down here, let's go ahead, if you need extra cushioning for your right knee, just go ahead and fold the mat over. We're gonna step the left foot forward. So we're gonna be in this low lunge. Since we're working with weight, I want that knee right in line with the ankle. I don't want it extending over. Um, we want the back leg in whatever, ang whatever um, angle will work for you to get a little bit of a stretch here, but also allow you to engage your pelvis here and protect that low back. So let's start with bicep curls. So remember, our arms aren't jammed in. We have a little bit of like an apricot or something there. And let's curl. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's come halfway and let's just do little pulses. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's go ahead and let's just stand, Janine. That's all right. That's okay. If this doesn't work with your knees, just go ahead and stand. So we'll switch to the other side. So if you're staying in the lunge, if not standing is completely fine. Let's just switch our grip to do hammer curls this time. So they're gonna come straight up as opposed to out to the side. And we've got, we're not gripping in, we've got a little bit of space there for our, our uh, arms. And 
here we go. Curl. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Now let's come halfway and little pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And release. So we'll stand on up now, if you're not already there. And let's go ahead, we'll have a little bit of a bend in the leg. So let's actually come into a chair pose. So we're sitting back, um, feet are about hip width apart. So you can see they're about hip width apart. Our knees aren't coming in, they're just staying right in line. So we're, we're sitting it back into that chair. And let's go ahead where arms are coming in right along the sides. And let's, let's go ahead and bring it back. So triceps and bring it forward. Two. Weight in those heels. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine and ten. Now let's bring it about halfway in just little pulses. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stand it up, give it a nice little shake. And now we'll just kind of just stand nice, nice little bend in the knees, nothing too heavy or exaggerated. Arms are by the sides. And we're going to go ahead, we're serving a tray out, and we're bringing it back in. Out, and in. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Give it a little wiggle and let's come back down. Let's actually come back to that chair. So let's sit it back into the chair and let's do those triceps again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and ten now come halfway in little pulses one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and stand it on up and now we'll come back just a little bend in the knees here arms by the sides and let's serve it up and bring it back two bring it back you think you're getting dinner you already had dinner three Four. You can't still be hungry. Five. You don't eat beans anyway. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. And now let's just step, step it out to the side. Feet a little, a little more than hip width apart. Nothing too much. Arms come on up. And we're gonna do little circles. So we have a little bend in the knee, in the, in the elbow. And here we go, little circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold and reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold and circle the first direction. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten. Bring the arms down. And we'll go ahead and put the weights to the side. And we'll come back to the bar or chair. So let's go ahead. Let's start with the left leg forward, the right leg's coming back. So we want to come into 90 90. So the front leg is in the bend is right in line with the ankle. The back leg is not back too far. We really have like it's shooting straight down. We have a 90 degree angle. So we don't want to hurt the back knee or the front knee. And we have a little bit of a pelvic tilt. Are you doing this right? You said to put the right the right leg down. Yep. Okay. Well, I'm sorry, you can't see me so. So okay, as long as you're I think I've got, got, got it right. Yep. Yeah. And come down an inch, up an inch, down, up. Oh, that feels nice after all that other leg work. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now down an inch, hold. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on up. Give it a shake. And let's switch sides. So the right leg is forward. The left leg is going to be the one behind. So we make sure this front knee is in line with the ankle. And the back leg is bent. Looks about 90 degrees. And that same sequence. So we're coming down an inch, up an inch. Two, three, four. If we can keep this front leg bent the whole time, even better. If not, that's our goal. We're working on it. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now down an inch, hold. Breathe. Embrace the shake. If it's painful, it all come out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and release. Woohoo! All right. So now we're gonna face the bar. We're gonna bring. You can start with your left hand or your right hand crossing over. Let's start with the left leg's gonna stay straight. We're gonna point the right toes back. So we wanna think of our hips as flashlights. They're gonna stay facing down, but we're gonna lift this back leg up. And we're just gonna do little lifts. So we're really thinking about getting into that seat muscle, this right in here. So little lifts, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, hold. Now, bend the knee, straighten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold that leg back out straight. Check those hips. And now let's do little circles with the whole leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold and reverse direction. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And release. Give it a little shake. All right, so now it's going to be the right leg that's straight and the left leg's going to be back. So again, we want to check those hips, make sure that this left hip isn't reaching out to the sky. It's nice and line. We've got these flashlights. We're, we still have a little pelvic tilt here. We don't want to be taking it in the low back. We just want to be feeling it right here in the seat. And little lifts. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now we bend the knee, straight. 
straighten. Bend, straighten. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now circles with the whole leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold and reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And release. Give it a shake. All right, we'll do one more set just to make sure we really got that seat nice and activated. So left leg is the straight one, right leg's the one pointing back. We're gonna lift that back leg back up, check those hips. And so this time we're gonna tap the toe twice, tap, tap, and then squeeze the leg up. Tap, tap, squeeze. Tap, tap, squeeze. Tap, tap, squeeze. Tap, tap, squeeze. I'm over 10, this is four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and lift the leg back up. I was getting all excited, I want us to do more than 10. So now, what we're gonna do is we are going to lift this front heel up. So we just wanna make sure the chair doesn't go flying so we can't have all of our weight here. So we're just gonna lift and lower. Lift, lower. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now, we're just gonna do a tiny little bend and straighten. Tiny, straighten, tiny, straighten. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And release. Woo! Wow. I'm not going to be sore tomorrow. I mean, you're in your <laughs> You're welcome if you're sore tomorrow. And <laughs> one more side. So right leg is straight, left leg is back. We're going to set that back up. Now i got to remember what we all did. All right, tap, taps, and squeezes. Tap, tap, squeeze it up. Tap, tap, squeeze. Tap, tap, squeeze. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now that toe is the leg staying straight out, and we're just lifting, so make sure we're not have all the weight in that chair. We're lifting that front heel up and bring it down. Two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Bring that heel down. And now we're just doing that tiny bend and straighten. It's tiny, straighten. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And let's give it a nice shake. Let's go ahead and stretch those quads out again. Breathe. And 
Now we'll just make sure we're not going to whack our head into the chair. So I'm going to step it back. My feet are out wide. I'm just pigeon toed in just a little bit so I don't go sliding into a split. I'm just going to take my hands down my legs and just fold it forward. A little wide, straddled forward fold. Hi. Thank you for the kisses. You are so sweet. Come to the middle. You want to practice your training? Breathe. Let's inhale to a flat back so those hands, if they can, gently touch the floor. And now let's walk it over to the left and let's fold over the left leg. Inhale back up into center. We'll walk it center. And then let's walk it to the right and fold over the right leg. And let's walk it back to center. And one more time. Inhale here and exhale. Just fold and center. Slight bend in those knees and let's roll it back up to standing. And we'll just heel toe those feet together. And we'll come on down to the mat and do a little more core work. So let's go ahead. I'll just turn sideways so you can see. So we're just gonna roll it down onto the back. Um, we have that nice natural curve, right? So feet are in, not too far into the bottom, not too far out, a nice distance. We're just gonna inhale and exhale. All we wanna do is use that breath and get that low back into the mat with an imprint. So not using those glutes or the hip flexors, just the breath. Inhale, release. Exhale, imprint. Inhale, release. Exhale, imprint. Inhale, release. Exhale, imprint. So let's go ahead. Weight stays. We're still imprinted. Weight stays in the heels. Let's think about activating those glutes and let's just roll it up one vertebra at a time into bridge. And this is Pilates bridge, so we're only coming to the base of the shoulder blades. Our hips are level. Take a breath here. And now let's roll it down one vertebra at a time. Let's roll through that imprint to that curve. Inhale here. Exhale, imprint, and let's roll it up again. Really think about engaging those glutes. We're nice and level at the hip hips, the weights and the heels. And let's roll it down one vertebra at a time. Roll through that imprint to the natural curve. And let's do one more here. So we exhale, imprint and roll it up. Take an inhale here. And exhale, rolls us down, roll th down through each vertebra, through the imprint into the natural curve. Now inhale, exhale, imprint. Bring right leg into tabletop, bring left leg to meet it. We'll go ahead and bring the hands behind the head. Inhale and exhale, bring the upper body forward. Think about getting this abdomen toward the mat. And we're just moving the ribs towards the hips, so a small motion. And here we go. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's go ahead and roll the upper body back down. Bring the hands by the sides. So your legs can stay bent or they can extend up straight. We're gonna do some lower rectus lifts. So we don't wanna swing the legs, right? 
We really want to think about a small movement getting into the lower part of the abdomen. So let's go ahead and lift. And two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's go ahead, if the legs are extended, fold them back to 90 degrees. Inhale, exhale, make sure you've got that imprint. Bring the hands behind the head. Inhale and exhale, bring the upper body up. So this time, let's go ahead and try to get the left rib to the right hip. So we're gonna go, so it's small, we're not using the, we're not turning, so the elbow's coming out, we're just using the small motion here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, make sure you're breathing, and 10. Come back center, inhale the upper body down, bring the hands by the sides, and you can extend those feet again. So this time we're gonna we're gonna bend, so we're gonna flex the feet, we're gonna point the toes, we're gonna kind of click the heels together, so a little tap, and then we're gonna do a little lift. So flex, so that when we start, there's just a little bit of gap between the legs. We point, bring the heels together, a little tap. It's okay, buddy, thank you, and lift. Flex. Point, bring together, lower rectus lifts. Flex, point, a little tap, and lower rectus lift. Flex, point, a little tap of those heels, and lift. Flex, point, click those heels, and lift. Flex, point, click the heels, lift. Flex, point, click the heels, lift. I'm going to pretend two more. Flex, point, click, heels, lift. Flex, point, click, heels, lift. Check that imprint. You can bring the legs back to 90 degrees. If they're not already there, let's bring the hands behind the head. Inhale and exhale, upper body comes up. So this time we're going to move right rib to the left hip. Inhale and here we go. One two, three, thank you, four, so you can even do it with a dog, five, six, because that elbow doesn't need to come across the body, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Come center and bring the upper body down. Go ahead and bring the knees into chest and give yourself a nice squeeze, a little rock side to side. And let's go ahead and bring the feet flat to the mat. The knees are pointing to the ceiling. Let's bring the right leg into chest and just give it a nice squeeze. Let's roll the right ankle out and switch directions of the rollout. And let's go ahead and switch legs. So bring the left leg into chest, give it a nice squeeze. And let's roll the left ankle out and switch the directions of that roll out. And release that foot back down. So now we're going to take the right leg, we're going to extend it out straight. We're going to inhale that right leg up to the sky. We're going to cross the right leg over the left. And let's just gently push that right leg away. So we're creating a figure four. Release that push. And you can stay here, or if it's okay for you, we're going to bring that left leg in toward the chest. Hands can either wrap around, or we can take the right arm, thread it through our fore, holding onto the shin, or underneath the knee. And you can stay still, or you can give it a little rock side to side. That's too many kisses. And let's go ahead and release. 
Let's go ahead and take this right leg, drop it straight out, and just windshield wiper the whole thing side to side. Just give it a little release. And now we'll bend that leg. Okay, thank you, too many kisses. And we're gonna extend the left leg straight. Inhale that left leg up to the sky, and now we're gonna cross it over the right to make that figure four. We can push gently away with the left hand. Release that push, and you can stay here or bring that right leg into your chest again. Your hands can wrap around, or you can thread that left arm through, holding on the shin or underneath the knee. You can stay still or give it a little rock side to side, whatever feels good for you. ceiling, feet are flat. Let's go ahead and extend the right leg straight and inhale it up to the sky. We're going to hold on behind the thigh or the calf and just pull that leg in toward the chest. Extend it straight. I forgot to windshield wiper, so let's just windshield wiper that leg side to side first. Give it a nice release. Too many puppy kisses. And now let's inhale that left leg up to the sky. Hold on behind the thigh or the calf and pull it in. take the feet up toward the sky. The knees are going to be bent. You can hold the insides or the outsides of the feet. We're just going to come into happy baby. So those knees are coming in towards the elbows and we can rock it a little side to side. And go ahead. Just bring both knees into chest. Give it a little squeeze. Let's go ahead and extend both arms and both legs. So the arms come overhead, legs extend out straight. And let's just do a nice symmetrical stretch. So we're gonna reach our feet in one direction, arms in another, trying to get that low back toward the mat. It won't get there. Just nice full body stretch. And release, bring those knees into chest. Let's hold on behind the, the knees and let's roll it up to seated. So we'll come on up to seated and we'll just take a nice inhale with the arms up and then exhale to heart center and we'll just take one more deep inhale here and one more exhale and that's it.